Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is something a little bit different. This is Windows 10, and most of you know me as basically an Apple or Mac OS 10 user, but I thought I'd show you this. This is on my Surface Pro 3. I've actually got it hooked up to a 30-inch cinema display, which looks fantastic, and it's using the Surface Pro 3 dock. And I'll probably do a video on the Surface Pro in the future. I really have never done one, but basically this is Windows 10. This is the default background, and I thought I'd show you Windows 10, what it looks like, and some of the top features of Windows 10. It's really a very nice operating system, and Microsoft has come a long way. So one of the neat things is they've actually made this wallpaper. This is the default, and this was done using lasers, and it's actually not a graphic. It's a picture that they took, so it's pretty neat. And there was some uh, video on that online. But one of the first things you'll notice is the little E here is a little bit different. Most of you are familiar with Internet Explorer, but Internet Explorer is no more. This is Microsoft Edge. So when I open Microsoft Edge, it brings up news based on something. I'm not exactly sure what, but probably my account, uh, and it's just picking things. But basically, you've got the web address up here. We can go to Zolotech. We can search right here. And this is the built-in browser. It's pretty fast and seems to work pretty well. Uh, there also is Chrome or whatever you want to use. Uh, also, you can install, of course, but this is a built-in browser. You've got the share the share buttons. Uh, you've got uh, make a web note, so you can make a note on here. You can scribble, you can highlight, you can erase, whatever you want to do. So, see, I can highlight all I want, and if you have the pen, it's even nicer, or your finger on a tablet. So let me exit this close Edge, and that's Microsoft Edge. Much faster. They claim it's faster than Chrome, Firefox, Safari, any of those, and I have to agree with them. It's pretty fast. Now, one of the other things that seems uh, to me very Mac-like, but I like it, let me open up a couple windows here, and we'll go back to Edge. We'll wait for things to load, and here is Task View. Task View uh, is very, very much like Apple's Mission Control, and you can see I'm recording here. This is everything that's going on, and that basically shows you all the different steps that are all, all the different programs that are open. So if I hit Alt Tab, goes back. Alt Tab, I can switch. If I hold Alt, this is what it looks like, and then we've got Task View as well. So that's nice, and this is definitely uh, something that is welcome. I really appreciate this. Now, one thing most of you will really appreciate is a new start menu. So this is Windows 10 default start screen. No more are there tiles. The tiles are kept in here. So there's not this big tiled screen unless you have a tablet mode, which you can do, but it's currently not in tablet mode. If you take off a keyboard from a Surface, for example, it will ask you, do you want to switch to tablet mode? If you do that, this will go full screen. If you don't do that, it just stays like this. So you've got all these different live tiles. You can move them around as you'd expect. And then over here, we've got our file explorer. And then we also have all apps. If we click on all apps, there's our apps. So pretty simple and much, much better than Windows 8. One of the new things we have is the Action Center. Gone are the charms. If we swipe in from the right, we now get the Action Center. So we don't have to do this charms thing anymore. It's back to normal. So we have tablet mode, like I said before. So let me switch to that. And there's tablet mode. If I switch out of tablet mode, we're back to the start menu. That simple. We can also take a note. We can also go to settings. Uh, we've got all these different quick things here. We can collapse this, expand this. Uh, go to airplane mode. Whatever you want to do, it's very, very simple now. Click on all settings, goes to settings, and it's really nice. And we can just search for whatever we want right up here. On Windows 10, we have Cortana built in now. Cortana is an assistant. You can see it says, Aaron, hello. If we click there, it says, what can I do for you? If I click on the microphone, what will the weather be next week? So you can see it's my assistant. I can just talk to it, and that's using the Surface Pro 3 microphone. I don't have anything special set up for that, and it works really, really well. It's got all sorts of different interesting things built into it. You can have it take a note for you, just basically uh, like you would on a Windows 10 phone or Cortana that's going to be on iOS and Android as well in the future. So it's basically Siri, Google Now, and Microsoft's version is called Cortana. One of the other things they've done that's very nice is a unified store. Now everything's going to be unified apps here shortly. And you've got this unified store. 
and you can still install regular apps like you'd expect but we've got all these different things going on here much nicer store universal apps and they should eventually work across not only Windows but different Windows devices Windows phones etc so there's quite a few apps you can see this is just me opening it really for the first time uh, we've got Netflix it says owned flipboard installed the weather channel if we go into the weather channel we can just install this and it all works really well like you'd expect but you've also got your normal start menu so the apps that you had previously on Windows 8 if you've been using it uh, are from these live tiles and if we click on one of those it will open full screen like you'd expect but you can also window it so now we can have windows just like we're used to just like we had before we can bring it back full screen keep it windowed do whatever we want with it and it's uh, much 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 better here so we can you know resize it how you'd expect you can see there's different sizing things going on there uh, but it's really really nice and windows 10 has so far been very stable and been really nice one of my favorite things with Windows 10 and maybe Windows 8 was the Xbox integration, but it gets even better. So if we go to Xbox, here is the Xbox app and it integrates better and has live game streaming from an Xbox One to your, to your computer. So if you want to do that, you can. But here is the Xbox integration. Now, if you want to follow me or friend me on Xbox, you can do that. My name is Big Z, B-I-G-Z. So if I go to see games my games these are just games on the pc but b-i-g-z is my name i've been using this for years since the beta program on the original xbox so we have that you can see right there now i don't have a ton of gamer score because well i play the same games these days quite a bit but that's me and if you want to friend me go ahead but i love the integration uh game dvr this is where you'll find game clips all sorts of things and this will only get more and more integrated one of the other things they have is some updates to PowerShell. This is version 5. Brings some big features and some new updates for package management. That's really nice if you're using that. You also have Hyper-V built in for VMs if you're using virtual machines. You also have some Windows Azure uh, things built in as well. And we also have Maps as well. So you have their version of Maps, which is really nice. Uh, yes, we'll reopen it here. So we have maps, we can use whatever we want here. You can see I'm in the Charlotte area, so this is a map obviously. We can go to uh, New York City, take a look at that, and zoom right in. We've got street side view as opposed to street view, so some really nice things. There's also some other things for battery and privacy control and movies, and the list goes on and on. They've really done a nice job with this, and for the most part this is going to be a free upgrade for most people so if you have windows 8 or i believe even windows 7 but definitely windows 8 i believe at least for the first uh, few months it's going to be free to upgrade to windows 10 so it's definitely worth checking out and i'd love to hear what you think about windows 10 it's been really solid for me it's been great as a gaming platform and definitely works really well so let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Be sure to friend me on Xbox. If you play Xbox, I play Battlefield 4 quite a bit. Either way, let me know what you think. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.